Welcome to day 17. My name is Zach Schiffer, and thanks for joining us on this Pentecost prayer journey. Uh, our scripture today comes from Daniel chapter 9, verse 19, and we're reading today from the ESV translation. It says, O Lord, pay attention and act. Delay not for your own sake, O my God. Daniel is praying to God, asking God to answer promises God has already made to his people. But what's really interesting about this prayer is that line, for your own sake. Delay not for your own sake. And what Daniel is doing is he's trusting in God's timing. See, most of the time when we pray, we pray these ASAP microwave prayers. As soon as possible, Lord, right now, this is when I need this to happen. And in my story that I shared uh, yesterday's prayer video, I got that ASAP kind of an answer. But often that's not the way things work out because God knows better what we need. And God is working out a greater plan than we can imagine. And so I want to challenge us today to pray for as long as it takes as long as it takes in God's timing for his sake so he gets the glory and so he can do it bigger and better than we could ever imagine. I don't know about you guys, but I have seen God answer prayers in amazing ways and sometimes it takes a whole lot longer than I expected. For example, I and maybe many of you have prayed for a spouse and in my plan, I was going to get married, you know, at 22 and start having kids so I could be the really young dad that could keep up with his kids on the football field and stuff like that. But it didn't happen for me that way. I had to pray and pray and pray and pray and I didn't, and I didn't get married until I was 27. And uh, in those extra five years can seem like an eternity, but I wasn't ready to be married. God was still working on my heart, preparing me and preparing Alyssa and I for each other. And she was every bit and more an answer to those prayers. And some prayers I've been praying for even longer than that and still haven't seen them answered. I've been praying for some people for their salvation for 15 years and have yet to see that prayer answered. But I'm praying in faith for as long as it takes. So that's my challenge to you, whether you're praying for a relationship, whether you're praying for salvation for someone, for um, like if you're praying against a health issue, if you're praying for a job, pray for as long as it takes. Because God answers prayer. And especially when we join him in praying about his promises the way Daniel did. And my friend DeAndre, um, he likes to say that God's promises are always yes and amen. That his answers to your prayers when you pray with God, you know, praying for his promises, you will always get a yes and an amen answer. However, it's in his timing. So today my challenge to you is to continue praying and pray for as long as it takes. Thanks for joining me. For today's prayer challenge today is day 17 of our Pentecost prayer journey.